So greetings once again from here in the New Jersey Pine Barrens. We just got done exploring a little bit here, the, the town of Friendship, the ghost town. A couple of foundations here, but now we're headed up to the Carranza Memorial. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It's a monument to Mexican aviation and a man named Emilio Carranza, who unfortunately had a uh, rather tragic ending up here in the New Jersey Pine Barrens. So that memorial is about 10 miles, 10 miles, 10 minutes up this road, <clears throat> up this old uh, sandy dirt road. And I'm probably gonna leave a channel sticker up there too. I think it'll be channel sticker number 64. So let's hop back in the Jeep and uh, check out this memorial. And I got a story to tell you when we get there. And we'll make our way down through the Pine Barrens. Actually, the road has improved quite a bit from what it was a little bit further south of here. We'll see what's up around the bend here. Probably nothing yet. A little slow going on this road. I think they recently uh, did some work to it. It's got all those like horizontal ruts across it from the machinery they bring back here, I guess. Makes it very uh, bumpy, as you can hear. Probably also keeps people from speeding back here. I believe I see a clearing up here, but this is not the memorial yet. Looks like the road's going to change to paved too. Wow. Looks like a paved road. It's been a while. I right, take check my GPS coordinates quick to make sure we're still headed in the right direction, though. Okay, we are almost there. What if it's right up here, according to the GPS? I saw a little pull off here. Not yet. Okay, I see it right over here. Right there it is. All right, got to find a place to pull over. All right, so here we are. Memorial out here in the middle of nowhere in the Pine Barrens. But this is where he crashed, this spot here. Monument Captain Emilio Carranza fell to his death while returning to Mexico on Goodwill Flight 1928. Paid for by the pennies of for the Mexican children. So we'll take a look up there in a moment. Tell the story, but let's here's the channel sticker. Number 64. Be one of these. And then we'll talk about what happened. Looks like they have some information there too. Let's take a look at the signboard here. Yeah, Carranza Memorial. Oh, there's a picture of him. Captain Emilio Carranza, 1905 to 1928. This monument commemorates the legacy and tragic accident of Captain Emilio Carranza. He's re yeah, returning from a goodwill trip on a non-stop non flight from New York to Mexico. He made it to New York safely, but he was on his way back to Mexico. When he crashed here during a thunderstorm, his Goodwill mission marked the longest flight flown by a Mexican aviator until that time. He became known as the Lindbergh of Mexico after Charles Lindbergh. He was most often regarded among Americans and Mexicans alike as a messenger of peace, goodwill, and friendship between the two nations. Talks about how talks about the monument itself. You can pause the video and read some of that if you want to. He had found in his pocket during his final flight was a plan to fly over the noted cities to awaiting crowds. Oh, that's kind of sad. Yeah, it has his flight plan there. Coming down. And if you want to read it in Spanish, there you go. Yeah, so the eagle on here, this is an Aztec eagle, symbol of leadership and dignity. And there's 12 blocks here representing the 12, you know, republics or states of Mexico. Messenger of peace. The people of Mexico hope that your high ideals will be realized. I believe there's an arrow on the other side. Yeah, pointing, representing his flight. Ilya was inspired by Charles Lindbergh. And so, so the Mexicans, so they, they wanted their own 
version of Charles Lindbergh, so they found Emilio Carranza was their man. And he flew a plane that was styled right after Lindbergh's plane. Was it called the Spirit of St. Louis? I think it was called the Mexico uh, Excelsior was the name of his plane. But yeah, he flew, I believe he, he flew from Mexico to New York first, if I remember correctly, and that went okay. But I think he made stops along the way for that one. But this trip back to Mexico is gonna kind of be like a non-stop stop. That was kind of the point of it. But abruptly on July 12th of 1928, when he was in New York, he just kind of left suddenly in the midst of a thunderstorm and people were kind of confused. Um, why would you just take off in a thunderstorm? Because back then, you know, flying, even today flying through a thund thunderstorm can be dangerous, but back then it was even more so. But upon examining his body and, his, and the contents that he had, I think they discovered why he took off in such a hurry. This part's a little bit tragic, I think. So apparently once he arrived in New York, um, he kind of had stayed there for a while, kind of delayed his flight back to Mexico. But I guess some sources say that there's some general back in Mexico that was jealous, perhaps, that Emilio got chosen to do this and not him, because they found a telegraph in his pocket from that general. This is what it read. Leave, leave immediately, or the quality of your manhood will be in doubt. That's a telegraph he received from this person. Or maybe it was his superior because it was a general, but that's why he left in such a hurry on the July 12th of 1928, right in the midst of a thunderstorm, when he probably knew better. Whatever... Yeah, when someone's question your, your manhood is going to be in doubt. What a message to send somebody. And once he took off, he only made it 50 miles south, roughly of New York. And this is where he ended up, tragically. All right, well, let's find a place to hide the channel sticker, and then I'll give you some final thoughts. I have some things I want to say about this that apply to all our lives, I think. You might have an idea of what I'm going to say. we got to hide that channel sticker, and we'll bury it here in the mulch. I don't think Amelia will mind. This is indeed what we're going to do. This is the backside of the memorial with the arrow on it, and we're burying it right there in the corner. Cover it back up. There we go. So there you go, channel sticker number 64 if you want to come out here to the, to the Pine Barrens to get it in New Jersey. And as always, if you are the person that finds this sticker, you can send me a picture. Let me, let me know you found it. Uh, there's information down below in the description of this video, contact information. You can let me know you found it and send me a picture because I like to share these pictures in future videos. Good. And my, my viewers like to see those pictures too. Yeah, so unfortunately, a uh, tragic ending for a man who seemed, he seemed like a good man, had a lot of potential, but because of what seems to be like almost like bullying of some sort of undue pressure from other people, he uh, acted in haste and it cost him his life. And then, so here comes your lesson for today. I think we all experience similar things to this in some ways. You know, bullying, peer pressure, just people expecting you to do things that you shouldn't do or just being mean about things and sometimes in order to prove ourselves prove you know our manhood or, or womanhood whatever it is you are uh we feel like we have to do those things take risks take undue risks just to please the ex expectations of other people or the pressures or peer pressure from other people and i think i can speak from experience that sometimes that lots of times that does not go out go over so well you know, think of my childhood where i did things I shouldn't have just to impress my buddies or just to be a part of the group. You know, sometimes, you know, to be a part of the pack, you're expected to do, you know, certain things that you shouldn't do and just to be one of the, just be one of the guys. And yeah, some of those things didn't work out so well. But yeah, just a lesson, you know, you don't have to give in to peer pressure or to, to bullies, you know, stand your ground and just do what you know you should do. Cause I think that day Emilio, I think he knew he knew he shouldn't have taken off that day to fly back in the midst of a thunderstorm, but you know, I, I don't, I'm not sure if we know exactly what those pressures were from that general, but he felt the need to take off. I guess, you know, to, to try and prove himself, unfortunately. And yeah, with tragic results. So just think, consider it for yourself. Stay on your ground and do what you know is right to do. All right. All right, just one last look at the monument then. It is well kept, which is pretty cool. 
I think there's a group that comes out here every year. It has a little ceremony here. Keeps the place kept up. All right, but that'll be it for me then. This is ends. This is the last video of my two-day adventure here in southern New Jersey, mostly here in the Pine Barrens. Been an interesting time. <laughs> we had some some issues, uh, bugs, creepy invasion of caterpillars, and things like that. But it was it was an experience, and it made, it's, those are memories too. So anyway, I got I got a bit of a drive home back to Pennsylvania. As always, thanks for coming along, and uh, I'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for coming along.